What's going on guys, it's Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about iOS 7 Jailbreak. Okay, so loads of people have been waiting for a jailbreak for iOS 6.1.4, and those who have been jailbreaking for a while will notice that the jailbreaks have slowed down over the past couple of years. So, the modders, first, they need to gain root access to iOS. Modders are able to give the user privileges to bypass Apple security measures and install unapproved software or tweak the system settings. This usually requires finding a bug in iOS or the boot ROM. Hardware related in the Apple A series chips are also possible, but less common, especially after the iPhone 5 and its A6 chip. Today, an iOS 7 jailbreak simply cannot happen. And as I said, there is not a jailbreak for iOS 6.1.4 yet, the version prior to iOS 7. iOS 7 hacker Winocom says he has a jailbreak for the version of the platform in the works and will be released before the end of the year. In fact, Invaders members, which is a group of people that hack or jailbreak, well, allow us to get the jailbreak out, uh, they have apparently successfully run unsigned codes on iOS 7. This probably means the necessarily exploits have been identified, but the team is working on specifics and building a tool for the general public to use. So, a jailbreak is apparently running on iOS 7, but they're just fixing bugs and stuff and adding, well, making sure everything's good enough for the public to use. Now, a tweet that was revealed by Muscle Nerd made note that excessive amount of detail made by the Apple update notice, but also confirmed that since nothing about iOS 7.0.2 suggests Apple tried to implement any anti-jailbreak measures, that is faith for all existing iOS 7 users to update without any risk to a future jailbreak. So you can see that tweet right there. He did another tweet as well, and he goes something like this, of course if you are still on iOS 6 and above, well, iOS 6 .1, well, iOS 6 to iOS 6.1.4 or 1.3 and are enjoying your jailbreak, you should stay there as there is currently no ETA whatsoever on arrival of iOS 7 jailbreak. So that's basically saying do not go to iOS 7 because you'll lose your jailbreak and you, he still does not know when the jailbreak will be released. It often takes months of searching for security holes and extensive testing before a jailbreak is ready for prime time. Apple implemented new features changed upon popular jailbreak tweaks. Control Center, which is similar to SP settings, jailbreak as you will know what SP settings is. The jailbreak scene will also continue to thrive so long as iOS remains a closed source entity. The ability to tweak and alter the general experience beyond the mere installation of apps has become something of an institution to many iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch users over the years. And although a jailbreak used to be rather easy for the hackers to achieve, Apple has gone to great lengths to ensure the process is as tricky as possible. So Apple have made it much more harder to now jailbreak. Now everything I just said in that video was from geek.com and there'll be a full link in the description where you will read upon but I just broke it down for you and another one was from redmondpie.com which is probably more a better source to use for jailbreaking because yeah they are really good to use so we'll you'll have to wait for the jailbreak I don't know how long it's going to be but hopefully it will be out soon I'm going to look for how to downgrade from iOS 7 to iOS 6 and I'll try and make sure that's for all devices so then I can make the video and put it on my channel and all of you can see it and know how to do it. So subscribe for more of these updates and I'm going to keep you posted until the jailbreak is out I'll probably do one of these every week depending how much information is leaked. 
So it's been Casual Savage here. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.